TechRich here, and guess what? I am back to do another video. It's been a while, but I am glad to be back. So this video is going to be talking about Microsoft and their new change to Edge specifically with the PDF viewer. So prior to this update, when you opened up a PDF as I had here, there would be one option and that would be to view it and you would load it up and it wouldn't be this fluid. It would load up the page very slowly and take up everything. They revolutionized it and they made it load so much quicker and it flows a lot better. Another thing that they needed a lot and you had Firefox, you had Chrome, is the ability to rotate. This is so influential and you can, um, and you can also read aloud the document. So when you hit read aloud, Comic Ron, you Buddhist. Honan Honan is attributed as an innovator of pure land Buddhism. But is this title justified? The I you can change the voice, you can change the speed to make it slower. It's really useful. But the most useful thing about this update is the pin. And so I'm using a Surface Pro for with the service pin you can use any stylus but since i'm microsoft fanatic i like using the surface but before when you used to click this button add to notes it would say this document is unable to um, be used with this now it's not the case so for example i can write hello right here I can make some edits right here, uh, change, um, excuse my handwriting, I'm, pre I'm not like stationary so it's going to be a little bit bad. I can even go and I can highlight and you see this highlights exactly where the text is. But for example, if I was going to highlight this, I can't highlight anything that's a picture or anything such as that so I can, um, but it's very useful and I can um, I can increase the size of the paintbrush, um, change the color and the size. So if I'm like, okay, this sentence is absolutely terrible, let's knock this out. And so there you go. And then I can save it and I can keep working on it um, wherever I want. And it's so much, uh, so useful because now your PDF viewer is also your editor. Before I had to use a program called Exodo and here's another here's the same document that I did a little bit of edits for and so I would I would have to like you know take the pin right here it's use it's more useful than this PDF viewer for edge so I would recommend if you're doing extensively but like for example for for paint you would have to do this and you could write in blue but the colors were restricted you have to hit save every time very um very flawed and you see your highlighting goes off um the page it doesn't adhere to the words so there's some limitations though you can add text boxes and everything but it's not as useful as um as having it adhere and there's no voice um uh voice thing but what is good is if suppose you do need to add a text box whatever you do here will also be able to transfer to the pdf that you're going to edge for. For example, if I um, exit and then hit save and I open up for video two, and now um, there's these new, uh, um, new colors, I can even erase these. So you see, I just erased this thing right here. I can erase hello. I can erase anyth anything that we made previously to the document can be erased. Um, which is useful. Um, certain things like if you save it multiple times, it won't be able to be erased. Like this was a former document, so most of the stuff that was edited um, can't be removed, but it's still really useful. But the one thing I have to really stress is that whenever you make an edit, for example, like this, and you want to send it to your friend or whatever, if you hit save and send the PDF to them, they will not see the edits. It is strictly for your computer only or 
people that have similar devices, but don't take the chance on that. So what you have to do, and I will stress this, have to do in order for people to see your edits is hit this button right here, print. And then you're gonna be like, well, wait, I'm not printing anything. That's because you have to do Microsoft print to PDF. And then you hit print, and you have to save it as, you can save it on top of it, for example, if I wanna save it on top of F2, I can, um, and it will overwrite it, but don't save it on the one that you're editing. So I couldn't save it as for video, because if I saved it as for video, and wanting to replace it, something went wrong. So then you have to go back, hit print, and then change it to F3, save it. And then now when I open up F3, um, it'll show all the edits. And then you can continue editing from there. They can send it back, they can print it back, and it just goes back and forth but it is really useful. Um, now, for anyone who edits PDFs on their computer, it saves you a lot from not having to print people or it's libraries, uh, they, they have PDFs, you scan documents by PDF, it's so much easier um, just being able to edit it on your computer and doing whatever you want um, to the document without having to worry about hey is this going to transfer over oh wait i can only view it on edge without being able to edit it's just a complete pain in the butt and so this is the reason why i'm really excited for this um for this uh piece of update that they did a uh, piece of update to edge now there's some other things that they added to edge that were really good um, I would recommend you checking them out. Uh, they had this long list whenever you did make the update, but I wanted to really stress this PDF thing because I use PDFs a lot. I write on PDFs a lot. My notes uh, for any reading is on PDF. It's really useful. And so this has been a Tech Rich video. I hope that you really like it. Um, thank you for welcoming back to YouTube. Um, like and subscribe. And check out my other videos um, if you ever need any other help with any tech-related problem, such as Wi-Fi or anything like that. Thank you so very much.